Hello, my name is Jeanette and welcome to my channel. Today I wanted to take you for a little ride along. So let's go and while we're going, we'll chat. It's a tight squeeze. Look for pedestrians. Shut the garage. I was packing up my inventory this weekend and I ran out of boxes and I just did not feel like going and getting boxes. Do you ever have days where you're just done, just done? So I'm heading to Walmart. I have not been to Walmart in so long. I, it's been a long time, weeks, maybe possibly a month, months, I don't know. That's why I don't have boxes, is because I haven't been to Walmart in so long and that's where I get my boxes from. We're gonna go to Walmart, we're gonna get boxes, and then we're obviously going to have to check out the clearance aisle while we're there and just see if there's anything good. Oh, I also have to get wrapping paper for some birthday stuff coming up. I think this angle accentuates my chin more, which is fine. Why have one chin when you can have several? All right, we are pulling into the Walmart. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Ugh, it's too bright. Let's see if the garden center is open. Cause I like going in through the garden center. We gotta stop and smell the roses. Whee! Park in the shade and we're here. Not too far. The Walmart here is pretty close, but it feels far away when I'm lazy. All right, let's just go in. I mean, I feel like we already chatted. We already chit chatted on the way here. out of the Walmart. Woo! I spent more time in there than I thought I was going to. I was in there for about two hours. Usually there's only one aisle of clearance stuff, but not today. Today there was like, I don't know, I don't know, maybe like five aisles of clearance stuff. They had the normal aisle and then they had an aisle next to it and then they had an aisle in front of it and then they had like little clearance end caps then they also had a clearance wall of stuff that's usually not there usually that's like the seasonal stuff a lot of lego a lot of barbie hot wheels just all sorts of stuff so i scanned a lot a lot a lot I know some people are buying a lot of Legos right now and then they're gonna hold on to them and I considered doing that but I just don't know what to buy or what to hold on to or what's a good price. I'm still learning how to do Q4. This is only my second Q4 so I'm still new at it. Definitely not an expert at Q4. So all that just to say I didn't buy any Legos. Uh, I don't know what I'm doing with that whole thing so if it didn't make money now I just skipped it. Uh, but I did wind up finding a couple of toys. One of the toys I found is like a plush toy, limited edition exclusive toy. I paid $19.99. It sells for $49.99 and I should profit $13.34 on those and I got two. Two. Other toy I got is like a replin because I've gotten these before and whenever I see them I check on them and I get more if I can and they're still making money. I buy them for $20. They sell for $40.95 and I should profit $7.34 on each of those, and I got enough for two, two. So I got $40 worth of profit on those four toys. And then, oh my gosh, you guys, I found a toy. It doesn't even have a listing yet. It was a really hot toy last year, and it's not even actually the same toy. It's the same toy, but different. I Googled, and it said that they're expecting to release these in October. So I don't even know how I found one. I found one, but I went ahead and grabbed it. It's supposed to be a really 
really hot toy this year. If worst comes to worst, I can always just return it to Walmart, but I'm hoping that I will make some bank on it. So keep your fingers crossed on that. I spent a, about $140 on a toy that doesn't even have a listing and I don't even know if it will sell. <laughs> so uh yeah don't know what i'm doing so yeah that's what i did in the walmart i just drove over here to the dollar store because when i was in walmart i was looking for like a card or wrapping paper and i just didn't like any of walmart's wrapping paper and it was expensive it's like five dollars for a roll and I don't even need a lot of wrapping paper I just need a little so anywho I was gonna run into this 99 cent store and get some wrapping paper uh, while I'm over here in the parking lot I noticed that there's a new store opening here big five sporting goods I've never sourced there but I guarantee you when it opens I'll be doing that so let's go into the 99 cent store because it is blazing hot my melt like a popsicle see here it is big five opening soon I just got out of the 99 cent only store. I got some ribbons for a dollar 19. I got this money box because I plan on giving the birthday girl some money and I thought this was cool. I also got this wrapping paper and it was only a dollar 29 and then I got some tape. So I have two birthday girls and I've got everything I needed for both of them. I feel very accomplished today. Well I'm ready to go home. That was a quick trip out. Let me know if you guys like these quick trips or if you like the longer trips. Uh, today I found $40 worth of profit in Walmart in about two hours. I also bought a toy that doesn't even have a listing yet. I'm just hoping that it becomes a hot Christmas item. Are you guys holding on to any toys for Q4? Is that something you do? What brands do you like? How do you determine what to hold on to? Do you just check the Keepa? Uh, you're just living on a prayer. This is my second Q4, so I know I'm going to learn a lot more this year, and I'm excited about it. Thank you so much for watching. Please like and subscribe and comment, and I will see you next time. Bye!